yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. Ladies and gents, as you can see, we've got Ruby on the lift, and as you can also see, she's a little bit torn apart. So the old auction Corvette is in the shop, and I know a lot of you guys want to see the Galaxy get bagged, but we're still waiting on a couple different parts to come in the mail so we can do the project completely all at once. So you can see we've got the cradle out of Ruby. James did this today, one man job. Yep. While I worked on the video for the drive down to Bradenton, you're getting so good at pulling cradles out of Corvettes. It's ridiculous. Well, I mean, it's like muscle memory. Now I did, I did this one with my feet actually. I've done it so many times. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. You just took your socks off and did yeah, it in the shop. There, my toes look like a monkey. Yeah. But. The whole cradles is out here sitting here because the main goal of today is to pull out this here Corvette Power Glide from RPM Transmissions. As you guys know, we've been having a little issue with the converter being kind of tight for Ruby's engine setup. So she's got that little 5.3 liter up there and it doesn't have enough juice with this new big turbo that we have to get up onto the converter and onto the two step. It's sitting there like uh, fighting the converter and we tried a whole bunch of stuff with the tune up and we got help from different tuners. We couldn't get it up onto the stall fast enough and we want to have this thing right for Rocky Mountain Race Week. So today we're going to be putting a different converter in Ruby. So James. There you want to do the honors there? There she is. So as you can see here, the brand that we are going with for our new converter here is PTC. That's Performance Torque Converters. And we got this converter through Dusty Bradford. So I made a Facebook post a little while ago saying, hey, what converters do all you guys run? You know, we've got a ton of people on Facebook who, you know, suggest stuff all the time. And, and we ended up meeting up with this guy, Dusty. And you guys can find him on Facebook, Dusty Bradford. It's kind of how he deals with this kind of stuff. And he spec this converter. It's a nine and a half inch converter, right? And he says, you know, it's gonna be ideal for what we're trying to do with Ruby all the way into the seven second range, you know, low seven second range, he was saying. And it can handle plenty of horsepower, more than we'll be able to throw at it. So this PTC converter is hopefully ideal for Ruby. Look at this thing. It's just so tiny. It's a little fella little fellow it's so there's nothing really exciting to show you guys about it just down and down just a darn parts. freaking converter so and we're gonna get this thing thrown up in ruby today and hopefully by the end of the day or probably a little bit until tomorrow we'll be able to back it out of the shop see how much faster it comes up on the two-step hopefully it works hopefully faster than nine seconds yeah that's what it was taking in vegas it was taking like eight or nine seconds and think about it on rocky mountain race week we'll be up in colorado the density altitude is so high the air is so thin that the engine is going to be even more down on power than it already is with that big turbo. So to get that turbo spooling, we're really going to need the converter to be loose. We might even put a dump valve on this thing as well, which also helps get the car up on the converter. We'll explain all that later, but for now, we're going to be doing the converter swap. So first things first, we got to pull this power glide out. So since James already got the cradle out, pretty much what we're going to be doing today is just taking these bolts on this belt. Oh, they're already out. They're already out. Gosh dang, so we can just lower this thing down right now, huh? Yeah, you gotta wiggle it off and then just... Wiggle it and bring it down slowly. One of your hands, your one yeah. of your hands. Sorry guys, I know you wanna watch, but I have to put the camera down. I don't wanna drop this power glide. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude, this thing got dirty. Yeah. Holy crap. That it did. <laughs> we got this thing trashed. A lot of it's gotta do with the vent, too. Might have to do something different with Yeah, that. we need to put end. a catch can on it, maybe. Because the rear end has been leaking. We've been seeing that. So maybe we'll put a little Mountain Dew bottle up here to uh, catch some of the fluid coming out of the diff. But otherwise, everything does look pretty good. We could also pull it on here, too. This definitely needs a better vent than just one of these. These work, but a lot of times with quarter mile racing with the higher RPM, faster the car's going, the okay. fluid sloshing starts to splash yeah, out. It yeah, it starts to splash out. Okay, cool. you, you don't want to get any of this fluid on the top. You want to pull the converter off real quick? It's going to make a huge mess. Oh, <laughs> oh damn, this guy. Tricks. Yeah, here, set her down. <laughs> well, they look like they're the exact same see. size. <laughs> they got different. Yeah. That's a tight one there. It's a loose goose. Over We're there. hoping we got a looser one on this side of things, but. There's really no telling much of a difference from the outside of them. I guess it has to do with the no, stators. The and... stator inside, there's like a bunch of fins. Yeah. And the pitch and the angle of what the fin is brazed onto there. Yeah. That changes the RPM that the converter starts to lock up and engage. Interesting science. So really all we got to do is fill this other converter up. 
push it onto the front of the transmission, put the transmission right back in and start bolting things back together. But before we do that, we're also adding a temp sensor to the pan on the yeah, and train. Uh, okay. also gonna drill do the dump valve yeah. for when we do do the dump valve, it's got a spot for the fluid to go back. To. Perfect. All right. James, don't break it. It is plastic. You know, I, I, I got this. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> fuel cell time. All right, guys. So you also know that we we're having that fuel cut issue with Ruby. So we have her driver's side saddlebag out of the car and we're ditching this little guy on the back that we use. It only has a dash eight feed for that big pump we have. And we're adding a bulkhead on the side like we did on Leroy. That's a dash 16. So it can flow enough fuel to that pump because we were starving that pump when we were launching yeah. the car hard. That pump has a 12 O-ring fitting on it. So yeah. usually they, they yeah, put a 12 going on from it for an a eight reason. to a 12. So we were necking it down. I mean, we have that adapter there to get it to a 10 because yeah. they make that eight to 10 transition, but it, it worked for a little enough. bit, but yeah. it's not enough now. So we're putting a dash 16 feet on this sucker and it should have all the fuel it needs. And 16 is excessive, but we don't want to have to do this twice. So yeah. we're going for the big one right off the rip. So yeah, because we never go mechanical, exactly. it's already there. So Leroy required a 16 because he went mechanical. And if Ruby ever does for a mechanical pump, we just want to have her totally ready. So the reason we have the tank out, we didn't have to do this on Leroy's. Leroy's fuel has in the back on the C6, you can't access it, but from the top, so. Everyone says it's a nightmare pulling this saddle bag out. It actually wasn't that bad. I think the hard part is getting it back in. Ew, with all the dust that's about to fall in the tank. So we're gonna clean it out when we... Yeah, true. We'll be cutting a hole in it. Give her a yank them. Oh, so here's our fuel hat and you can see this is the feed line. So we're actually gonna be using this because if this pump isn't running, the transfer tanks don't work correctly and we wanna be able to use both saddle tanks while we're on Rocky Mountain Race Week to hold as much fuel as possible. So we're gonna be doing some modifying to this over the next couple of days. We're gonna run a feed up to our EFI system in the front, basically almost up to the fuel rails so that this little electric pump can run the car while we're cruising. And then if we need the big one while we're racing, we can turn it on with a switch probably. All right, James, since we have to wait for stuff for Ruby tomorrow, what do you got for us? Tell me some goodies here from Texas Speed. Ooh. So we all have the same heads now. Dang. Uh, Cathedral Port Gang. Yeah, PRC head well, team. The Dale truck's pretty cool. <laughs> the Dale truck, yeah, Dale truck has the LSM <laughs> port. We gotta get the Dale truck out. James, what you got in here, buddy? I got me a set of the baddest 237cc Integra under PRC heads. Ooh, ooh. So. Damn. Oh, these are the whole aftermarket casting and all. Oh, yeah. This is the real deal. These are the six real deal. Dude, I didn't know you were getting six bolt heads for the 240. Oh yeah, well, I always... Look at them things. Damn, oh. he couldn't even finish his sentence. Yeah. He's yeah. like, damn. I've been running a set of stock head castings for a while now, and they've always been my limiting factor to spraying more nitrous. Yeah, I've well, we need them. more nitrous. I've lifted them like six times, I've melted them twice. And you torched the last ones. The really last bad. one, it melted the head gasket to the head when it torched it. Mm -hmm. So I gave my boys a call at Texas Speed and said, "What could you do Dang, for me?" They, they hooked me up with a set of these two thirty-seven wow. cc Oh yeah, these you guys are... heard it here first. The only issue with James's car is the heads. Yeah, the, the carburetor's fixed. <laughs> I don't know about. Well, we the might, axles, we the might want to talk to the tuner too. <laughs> Hell yeah! Well, shout out to our boys at Texas Speed setting up the two forty. Yeah, look at these things. They are beautiful. Woo. All right, guys, so James is screwing with the transmission, which is already back up in Ruby with that new PTC converter. He's getting it all bolted together. We had to do some custom modifications because there is uh, nuts that have to go on the back of this converter. So it's all right, we just made a little access hole in the bell housing here so we can access that, so that's a done deal. We've actually had to do that before on Leroy, so we know it's, we don't think it's gonna crack. Hopefully it doesn't crack, but we have our Fluid temp sensor right here in the pan now. We haven't really filled them in on the dump valve. We'll show you how this little device is gonna help us spool up as well as the looser converter. And then up here, I'm working on this fitting right here that we've had leaking because we just tapped it and it's not working out. It continuously leaks, so we're changing out this fitting for one that's designed to hold a uh, an NPT fitting. Be able to fire up in a little bit. Oh yeah, wait, let me show you the new fuel line too. This is the new fuel line. So look at that, top side of the tank there, dash 16 bogger. Goes all the way up to the pump right here. That thing is a beast. 
so same exact setup as Leroy. These parts are pretty much going to be interchangeable. Don't mind the gouge fitting because I had to get some crazy angles over the exhaust to get this thing tight, but this is good now. So we've got uh, both of the oil feed and return lines to the remote oil filter. You've got the feed line to the turbo and you can reach into these with an AN wrench a lot easier now and get them real tight. So they're both extremely tight. Should have no more leaks and be done deal with that. All right, so we're all set with our oil lines, our new fuel line, which is massive, dash 16. We got everything ironed out under here. We're about to put the cradle up. We, uh, we on our way to have this thing running. All right, and just like that, we got everything in the car. It's time to nut and bolt everything down and drop the car down to the ground and get this thing tested out. Look at all that. So the only thing that's left now is to hop in the car, fire it up, and James is going to fill this thing up with training fluid from the bottom while I sit up in the driver's seat and keep it running. Alrighty folks, we just got Ruby filled up with transmission fluid. It already seems promising because when I put the car in gear, it doesn't load down nearly as much as it used to. It used to put it in gear and the car would like jerk forward. Now it, it already seems looser. So obviously there's a huge mess because putting transmission fluid in our way you know of course makes a huge mess just use, yeah we just use a hand pump and it can get a little sporty so we're just cleaning it up and we're gonna back this thing out and test up our freaking new converter on that ptc life welcome all right james you want to do the honors all right fire this thing up So good to hear your voice, Ruby. Woo! And she's all warmed up because we had an island for a while while we filled up the transmission. Dang! Yeah, Ruby. You can just tell this thing is loose. A lot smoother. like two seconds. Yeah, it's No way. All right. Do that again so we, I get an official count. Damn. That's so fast. That was eight pounds. The second it started popping, it was at eight pounds. Do it for a second, see how long. It'll probably go decent. And that's about the dump valve that we added. And we're not gonna do a burnout today. We've already gotten in enough trouble with our landlords. Just gonna leave it right there, but dude, that is epic. All right, guys, well, at risk of our landlord, we can't do any burnouts today because uh, we're in a little bit of hot water from some recent events. And once it cools over, we can do some more driveway burnouts, but you know, you can see a couple. Get carried away, I don't know. Yeah, don't know especially with James behind the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, dude, think of the difference that already made. It did instant, instant, speed. instantly, and especially when we're in the mountains for Rocky Mountain Race Week. Well, you got to think about it too, being like three seconds, and it's already at nine pounds, so yeah. I can grab the brake before I even bump in now and already be at full boost, uh, bump in full power, and then that tree comes down, it's gone. Dude, so, I mean, we went from literally nine seconds to yeah. two or three seconds, it's already hitting the da -da 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 -da. so. I think we're in business. I'm also curious to see if the duty cycle changes at all with that bigger feet of the pump. Oh yeah. You know, to see if that- It has less a... pulling to do. Yeah, exactly. So. And uh, we did have a little leak on one of our fittings on the fuel tank, so we gotta fix that. We'll probably just pull it right back in and start working on her again, but we wanted to get her out of the shop and test the converter. Wanna give a big thank you to Dusty Bradford at PTC for helping us out with this. If you guys need a converter, you can hit him up, but we're really excited. But we're pretty stoked to take this thing to the track and freaking get it going. I mean, it's time to go down and try and get we this thing. We gotta drive it to Bradenton and run it and drive it back. That's true, we gotta drive this thing to Bradenton, run it and drive it back, make sure this thing's worthy for Rocky Mountain Race Week before anything. But I mean, shoot, that's definitely a promising start. We need to get some 1260 foots too, because what, we've had like 134 is the fastest. We're on 133. 
Okay. This thing should go in the 1-2s and 1-1-60 foots all day long. If it goes 126 to the 60, it's going to go in 850. Woo! It sounded so much more excited. Dude, get, it's... Like, right up on Ruby it. is excited. Yeah. I, well, I, now I can already tell. I'm so driving this Daisy, too. The looser converter might flash harder, accelerate harder. All ah, hell yeah. All right, guys. Well, we're going to end it off there. Ruby is looking really good. We're really excited to do this converter swap, and we do have the dump valve, too, which... We'll show you later, but that helps it spool up even faster. So say we're in Colorado in that high density altitude, we'll be able to use that to really get up on the converter. But things are looking good. We'll take Ruby drag racing next week. But that is it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We will freaking see you later.